So basically, we've uh, started building the greenhouse, or actually began to convert my carport over, or the canopy over into an actual greenhouse. Uh, pretty much right now, we got it all done up to this point. There's a couple things that I need to do in terms of uh, the frame of the, of, the, of the greenhouse. Don't plan on doing that today, so until then, I'll just kind of walk you guys through what it is that I have done. Yeah, man, I'm really happy with the way it's coming out so far. It's really standing up. Uh, like I said before, because of the rain, I've kind of slowed down because a lot of this is actually wood. A lot of it I have sealed. I still don't feel comfortable drilling in wood while it's raining and wet. So I'm going to give it the day. Actually, I'm going to try to get some in today before the rain comes because it's supposed to rain again. I don't know what's going on here in California. Pretty much just throwing the channel lock on. You know what? On second thought, I think I'm going to call it a day. I've been working pretty much all day and I have yet to eat. So I'm just going to walk you guys through this. Then I'm going to go grub and just kind of chill. Uh, decide I'm going to kind of take it a little bit slower than I normally do um, just because I want to definitely keep my immunities up during this time of the year. Uh, I got a lot of people out there depending on me, so I want to make sure that we're getting it done. Anyhow, this is what we've been doing. Yo, it's like the weather and my time finally aligned and I can get this stuff done. This is called channel lock. Basically what it does is allow me to put plastic inside of this and then come along with wiggle wire. I pretty much just lay this wig, this wire, this wiggle wire inside that inside this uh, channel lock and it sandwiches in the plastic and it keeps it really snug on the frame of the uh, structure. I try to drill it in or staple it in or sandwich it in with a couple pieces of wood. Basically so much wind comes across this place so it'll just eventually end up ripping the uh, plastic um, and over time I think just in any regular just in any kind of setting you want to use a channel lock it's way more secure I never understood there's such thing as a uh, faux pockets dude you want pockets all the time pockets more pockets you kind of get the idea I gotta dig that out. Cool. My comfrey's a monster, dude. I need to put it back in the shade. It does a lot better in the shade than it does in a in the light. I find. I tried to grow comfrey before and I did give it full light and I'm wondering if that was a problem. Every time, I've, this is the first one I've actually kept in a pot. And every time I move it to the shaded area, it seems to do a lot better, so. I feel like a spot of tea. We're gonna get some tea. I'll be back. So this is my first time ever really using wiggle wire and I'm not certain if I'm gonna have an issue in the intersections, these pieces cross, you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm, I might have to end up coming in here and maybe cutting this. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it because that's just, a, that's a pretty easy fix if I do have to cut it. There's a couple places around the structure that I can actually use a little, little segmented pieces of wiggle wire or um, channel lock anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as is. Before John, man. At the buzzer. Time for some tea anyway. So this guys is my C stand. Hmm. That's actually what I use to hold my camera, which is my phone. But that thing is invaluable. See right now, it's actually holding up the wood so that I can screw my um, first nail in, or actually my first bolt in down there. That thing is invaluable. There'd be no Hollywood without those, straight up. You can see how, how they really are just how utilitarian they are. C-stand, man. Perfect gift for the only child. 
ratchet wrenches, probably one of the best inventions ever made by man. You're off. Awesome. Every piece of wood is attached to uh, this greenhouse. All the wood is attached to a frame, just like that. Little bolts, uh, especially up here, or just <clears throat> all over. Uh, they're all carriage bolts, right? The main reason for that is because they're a smooth finish. We still will go and put like uh, some duct tape or something like that on top of those, uh, just to make sure that we protect it from, we protect the uh, plastic from anything that might rip it. So, got a little bit more work yet. Uh, this, like I was saying before, those are all 5 16 we need to be putting in some more wiggle wire here pretty soon. This whole top piece here is going to go all the way down, and then we're going to do the same thing over there as well. Pretty sure I'll get that uh, that stuff done tomorrow. What's going to end up happening is we will attach wiggle wire from, I guess, the outside here, and then drop it down here. I don't know. Maybe down there. But anyway, the overarching goal is to actually have plastic here jump over here we'll have plastic it's going to come off of this side so we've already got the channel lock in here as well i do have to cut this piece though so i'll take my grinder out cut that and uh get it all nice and flush but anyway we'll um get plastic and we're going to go all the way over the top then attach it to that board there the one that we're just putting in. So it's gonna attach here. Here, all the way down there. We'll have another sheet of plastic as well. The frames, both will be separate plastic. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. Like I was saying before, the idea is to, because as you can kind of see, we get kind of windy here. This isn't anything, this is, this is very light. That's normally my barometer up there. Yeah, so this is actually pretty light. So it can get very windy here. Anyhow, um, the idea is to actually put a double piece of plastic, double plastic this, uh, this structure, but from that side there to this piece here and um, pump air through the top. That will keep it to where that roof to the structure or the roof to the greenhouse is really nice and snug. And any wind that comes through it should be able to deflect. Problem with that, however, is that it gets extremely hot here in Fontana, and with that double layer of plastic, it might just get too hot. I do have an idea of maybe hanging some canopies up in here as well, a shade cloth. That might be something, um, as well as maybe, I don't think we're gonna end up doing it after all, maybe putting this part of the door from here down. I'm sorry, uh, this part of the wall from, I'm sorry, from there, from here, down. I might make that roll up. I'm not sure yet. More than likely, it's gonna end up starting as a solid piece, and then if I need to make it a roll up, I probably will then, depending on the heat and how the, uh, the actually canopy of uh, shea cloth is working. And then of course, we'll have uh, fans and stuff going on in here as well. Tomorrow, I'll be doing a little bit more work on it. But like I said, I think I'm gonna go ahead and drop this video now, and then, We'll probably put out the next video of us of us uh, doing this last little pieces showing you the redheads um and how we're actually putting this thing the structure to the ground and i can kind of show you now we're using redheads in these plates right that's just a little bit extra insurance if you guys have any questions go ahead and leave them down below i can't wait to hear and read what it is that you guys think I'm really happy with the way the structure's coming out, I have to say, dude, I'm really happy with it. Um, and it is actually kind of easy. It's just, you know, like I was saying uh, the other day, the uh, weather has really played a crazy part. And then now this whole uh, lockdown thing is kind of, but it's actually been giving me a lot more time to stay here and do this, which is actually pretty cool. I'm, I'm really into it. So anyway, guys, I will talk to you soon. Please leave your comments down below. Can't wait to hear what you guys think of what's going on. Um, peace.